I guess it's time for another movie haul. Criterion Edition. Hello, my name is Kevin. I am the Dapper Man. And as you could see me, I was dancing. I was getting a bit excited because a Criterion sale did happen and occurred. This is something that happens twice a year and I really save once a year. Usually I would spend twice a year, but I've been become a bit better with my money. And this time I saved and waited until this month, actually last month, November, for the Criterion sale at Barnes & Noble. So this is what I got at Barnes & Noble, half off. I would say it's the best time to buy box sets. Now that I really, when I got these movies and so forth, I was thinking about what I purchased and so forth, this is the best time to purchase box sets. So if you want to get a box set of like the Godzilla, like I did, I think it was last year, if you want to get a box set of whatever movie series out there, I think the Igmar, Igmar Bergman, oh, I can't even say the name right, I, I'm sorry, I apologize. Anyhow, that, any box sets. So, I will show you the first box set I actually got for quite a while. Okay, you know what, I'm going to put them down. <laughs> They're all going to fall over. Here is the Yojimba Sanjiro, probably saying it wrong. I am not Japanese, I don't have a Japanese tongue, I don't speak Japanese, so this is going to be a bit hard for me. But I like samurai movies, I've always enjoyed samurai movies, so I am a bit excited because it's got Akira Kurosari directing these two movies. 1961, 1962, I believe it was like a two part, so it was like part one, part two. And yeah, I couldn't tell you a thing about it, all I know is that if it's Akira Kurosari. <laughs> Anytime he directs movies, I just, I loved every single thing he has directed and shown, so. To me, it was like a no-win. No-brainer, of course. I mean, not no-win. A no-brainer. See? I'm so tired. <laughs> uh, I'm doing this at the dead of night, just letting you know. This is right now at 2 in the morning as I'm recording this, because the past three days I tried to record, my next door neighbor is slamming, he is sawing, he is doing every bit of construction. So I realized he won't do anything when it hits 10 o'clock at night. When it hits 10 o'clock at night, he shuts everything down. And they're still moving things, so I'm like, okay, I have to wait until he's done with completely everything before I show you this video. So there's a reason, there's a reason why this video is pretty late and how I stay up just to make you a video. Hope you enjoy. Anyhow, all that heaven allows a movie that I was recommended numerous times. Do not know a single thing about it other than it has Rock Hudson and Jane Wyman. So, you probably know who this movie is. I don't, and I'm okay with that. And I will see it eventually, the original French version. Always want to see it. I've seen so much to the Disney's Beauty and the Beast because my sisters. I've always wanted to watch this one, and now I get the chance to watch this one. This one's not silent. For some reason, I thought it was silent. Is there a silent version of Beauty and the Beast? If there is, let me know in the comments down below. I believe there is. But I'm probably wrong. 1946. Can't wait to see how this movie plays out. Here is a movie I remember seeing not all the way through, but I did see it. And why it was in Criterion, I don't know. I mean, I was shocked. The Gunfighter? I am a huge Western... Henry King. Oh! I didn't know he directed this one. Anyhow, I'm not going to go into the whole story because I don't want it to make this a review of every movie, but I remember watching this. I remember very much enjoying it. I remember the... This was like a... I guess a mystery. I believe this was a mystery, if I'm right. Probably wrong. Anyhow, I don't want to go too far into it. I'm going to watch it, so when I watch it, it will probably be in a couple of months, then I'll get to review it. Just, I'm just being real. This is how long it's going to take me because I have so many other movies I had to review, and I am looking forward to a couple of months because I already have some certain, certain things planned out. Yeah. I'm still going over words. i exhausted, tired, but I'm staying up to show you these. This was the most anticipated thing out of... Okay, these last three right here. To me, the last three I'm about to show you is the most anticipated movies I have waited for the longest time. These next two, then I'm just going to show you the order. 
I was extremely excited for because I was shocked. I was waiting, waiting. I remember people sent endless emails like, when is this going to become? I'm just going to be a little bit, just a wee bit on a down low of not as thrilled that this movie was not released the same way as the original Godzilla was for the Criterion. But that is the War of the Worlds. I'm going to tell you why. I was expecting not a plastic case. I was expecting when, if I got this in the paper case, I was able to open it and it would be folding out these UFO saucers and so forth. And I know it's not going to do that because it's a plastic case, but to have the original War of the Worlds, I've seen this movie I think about like 10 times, but to see it crystal clear, I know it's Criterion and you do a fantastic job at making the picture to its pristine colors and the sharpness. I'm just, I'm really getting excited. I got a little bit of goosebumps because I'm so excited to see this movie get released and become, get the high definition format that I believe it desperately deserves. Yeah, I, I want to talk about this movie so much, but I'm just here to show you the movies I got for half off the Barnes & Noble Criterion Set. This is my favorite David Lynch film. I am not a David Lynch fan. I think I've mentioned that before in my videos, especially when you talk about like Eraserhead or Mullahan Drive, whatever it's called. Don't care for it. This movie, Elephant Man, is my f one of my favorite movies, and it is one of my favorite. It's probably my favorite besides the Walt Disney David Lynch film. I know it's called. Oh, it has Sissy Spacek in it. Anyways, yeah, that movie with a poster right there. That was one of my favorite movies, but this is probably my best. And you know what? Let me just show you one more before I open it because I'm, I just want to open this because I am so excited to see this movie. This movie really just draws some big attention to me for detail, for the way how film is shot and so forth. Very excited. And the Grand Budapest Hotel. Naturally, any Wes Anderson film that comes out is going to be on Criterion. I know the next one's going to probably be about the Isle of Dogs. I don't even know what's the point of purchasing it unless you're getting it for the digital copy because Criterion doesn't give you digital copies, which is the saddest thing ever. Yeah, they got their channel, but I like to have the copy. So, yeah. Great movie. This is probably his best. It's hard for me to decide because I love Dorio Tenenbaums. And I love this one. This one probably had the best storytelling he did. I know they all look alike towards many people, but this one is something very extra special. And I think it's going to open up as a map. Let me let me open up these two. I know I'm getting ahead of myself and so forth, but I just want to see what the inside of Elephant Man looks like because I can't tell you how long I've been waiting for this movie. I had this movie on DVD. And for some stupid reason, it was released with Paramount. Yeah, Paramount. I got rid of the plastic DVD case. I know I got rid of so many because I was moving, but that was one of those I don't believe I should have. It's a very nice looking. Okay, I was ex They could have put a folder inside to put a book inside. Anyways, that's it. So this is like one of those movies you probably don't watch too many times, and I understand. That's probably why, but still... It kind of does bug me a wee bit that it's a very lengthy one, too. They're always a bit lengthy, but this one, what is this, 40 pages? 36. So 36 pages inside it. And it has its case that you put inside. I think they could have did a bit better, but I don't mind the case at all. I wanted to open the world of the worlds, but it's plastic and I already know what's going to be inside. See that they have the paper that's glued on. I mean, I don't care. I don't like this glue because if you keep the glue on it too long, it stains right through it. Just letting you know, these glues that they put with the paper, if you never open it, if you keep it there for too long, it stains right through it because it happened to one of my Godzilla DVDs that I opened up and I was like, I never opened it for some odd reason. I don't know why. And anyways, here is how, oh my goodness, it's folding. It's, 
Okay. Just so you know, when you open this, everything's going to fall out. Here's the inside of it. That's the inside cover of it. Sorry. It's going to be very thin unless you put the booklet inside. And the mat. I know every time you do one of these, you got like... Or is it going to be a poster? Oh my goodness, what's this going to be? Okay. So if you want to put this in a framework, you can do that on both sides. So let's get that. And it's got that side. I mean, it's designed so you can frame it, but I never did frame them. I really thought I was going to... More stuff. Oh my goodness. Romantic poetry. Here we go. See, that's how you know it's a Wes Anderson film. They got all of these obscure looking things. There's a lot inside of this movie. Okay. So I'm going to see if something else opens up. Okay. <laughs> and same amount of pages. Okay. It's got his drawings and so forth. I just can't help. I love his films. It's like every frame you look inside this movie is something that you would just want to frame and put up at your wall. 